Buddy. Enjoy. Was that good, buddy? Was that good, buddy? He's like, I want more. Today's video is one that we do every few months. We even say sometimes that it's not a mill Mondays unless it comes with an automatic pet feeder. So special thanks to this company who was nice enough to send us their elevated automatic pet feeder. This one sits up a little higher than most other pet feeders would and can feed up to 10 mils per day. So of course, we'll get on the overhead rig. We'll go through the unboxing. I'll show you the setup process on how you get this actually working. That way you'll know how to get your elevated pet feeder up and working. So click like, click subscribe, and let's check out this elevated pet feeder. All right, so let's open up our elevated pet feeder and show it to you. So uh, front of the box, just happy new home on the top and the sticker elevated automatic up to 10 mils per day. This side just, you know, talks about the company a little bit. Take a nap like a cat, automatic pet feeder. So not, not a whole lot around the box to talk to you about. But let's open it up, take a look at it. What do we got? Oh, it can be recycled. Oh, that's what the cutouts are for. Interesting. Very cool. Very cool. I didn't know that. I saw the like cutout design, but had no clue what it was for. So let's. There we go. More about the cutout. Ready? We got a full instruction manual here. This tells you, of course, how you can use the record button, lock and unlock, the set buttons, what the LED indicators mean. I mean, essentially everything um, that I probably won't really show you here. Three ways to connect the feeder to your app, etc. Then uh, what else we got? Foam and our actual uh, pet feeder. So let's slide this out. Nothing else in the box. I'm gonna get it out of the way. And uh, here it is here so there we are let's take a look around it this is the front all of your uh you know your button to record your lock and unlock your feed and your set buttons nice logo there the bottom has a uh, physical on and off switch and your usb-c port is right here got some nice grippy feet as well and then of course it'll take batteries for a battery backup in case your power's out then important please connect feeder via 2.4 gigahertz only so there's a you know where you can download the app and all of that kind of stuff and then nothing else really around it these locks will take off the top but for now we'll just press here to get this off then our feet more more feet tray and cable for power all that kind of stuff and so you can kind of see your food goes down, this turns and rotates, and dumps the food out the front. Let's take a look at these. It looks like they were nice enough to give us a lot of feet. Got those, and then we've also got all of these. And then this is, uh, so I will say that, uh, from personal experience, these metal trays, they make a little tinging sound. The animals are able to hear it and they know to go to their food. On the other side, it can be very loud. I removed this from our current pet feeders, but that's up to you. You can just use this, of course. As you see, it's got this and it just kind of slides right into place. And then yes, that's, there's you know, four feet go here and four feet go here. So it looks like they just give you extra feet in case uh, you know you need it. This is, just the metal tray slides in place like so. There's another uh, one of those thingies for the top that I showed you at the beginning. And then this is our braided USB-C cable for power and a nice power brick to power the feeder. If you don't need the feed at all, you can leave it as it is. If you need the feed, you can put either these longer ones on and you put four on this and four on this, or you can put the shorter ones on and put four on this and four on this. Uh, looks like they give you two extra and they even include extra little feet here. So like those made to go on the bottom, a nice little uh, reset pin. So this is everything that comes inside of the box. Now we're gonna put all this together and get it connected to the app to show you how you would use this. So to add to this, these are one inch risers, 
Well, these are two inch risers. So uh, we're gonna use the two inch risers and basically flip this over and take off these. And underneath you find the little hole where this is able to go right in to lock into place. And then you just repeat three more times. Uh, these are already just open, so you just slide them right in and uh, repeat three more times. All right, so all of our feet are on. Now we'll take our power cable, let's see how long it is. Probably about a four to five foot uh, power cable here. And then it's got a little diagram of how you run it. So basically we can plug it in here and then just loop it around. Then just take this side, plug into our power brick, plug into power. Now we can flip this on over, take our tray, line up our tray with our little tray insert here, and bada bing. Now, you see we have a blue flashing light there, that's good. Now, let's get out the app to get it set up. So here in the instructions, you can scan this QR code to get the app. So we will scan this. We apparently already have and just needs an update. So you'll need to install this app, make you an account, and then you can go through the setup process. Since I already have it, I'm just uh, gonna run this update and then log in and we'll go through the setup process. All right, and so we're inside the app. I swear to you, I just opened up the app. You can see I already have a smart lock, but with just this device powered on, it already knows. Like, I didn't have to set this to anything. I literally opened the app and it has a Wi-Fi feeder. So I'm gonna click add, put in my Wi-Fi information and click next. And now it's going through the process to add this feeder to my Wi-Fi. That is so easy. I, I was not really expecting that. So once that little circle completes, this feeder will be on my Wi-Fi and then we can go over the settings for you. All right, click done and there we are. So we have a feed plan where we can make a schedule. So we can put the time. So like, let's uh, say every day of the week, we want it to pour. Well, actually I'll leave that at one portion so you can see what one portion is. And we'll pick, it's 2.20 PM right now. So I'm gonna give myself uh, five minutes to get this ready. So we'll put it at 2.25, we'll click save. And there we go. I mean, that's, that's easy. You can easily come in and adjust the portions you need, but that, it was a very easy setup. Now I have a schedule in place and even a feed record. So once it uh, feeds, it should have a record. And of course, I believe if you just click this button, like if you click one and then click feed, it, yeah, yeah, it's going. Let me, let me do that again. Try it one more, feed. See it moving? There we go, nice and easy. Then there's also a uh, settings button here where you can factory reset. And outside of that, that's really it. So let me throw some food in here and uh, let's see how this works. So got some dog food, pour our dog food in, make sure it's over the thing. There we go, there we go. And then uh, the top just nicely goes into those two holes and pops into place. So now it's ready to go. In another two minutes, it should drop the food. Let me, uh, let me put this on the floor, hold on. So I've got it in the floor now. There's a little bit better look of what it would look like. I like the razors, very nice. But in about a minute here, it should drop the food and you'll see exactly what one portion size is. There it goes. So there we go. That is one portion of food. So for example, if you're needing like half a cup every feeding and you feed them half a cup three times a day, you'd have to measure out how many times you'd need this to create half a cup. So you may need three or four portions and that would give you a half a cup. And then each feeding would have three or four portions so that they get half a cup. And super easy to set up with that app. I can't, I can't believe how easy that was. A day. Enjoy. Was that good, buddy? What's that good, buddy? He's like, I want more. And there you are. Ah. Figured this would be easier, why not? So this is the Elevated Pet Feeder. Again, thanks to this company who was nice enough to send it to me to show you how to set it up. Now I had a small advantage considering I already had this app installed and so it just instantly showed up, but you should have the same results. You'd have, you'd click add device and as long as the device is powered on, it should just show up right inside your app. Truly love the settings on this. So, so easy to set up. We have a few of these and a lot of them, uh, you just use the buttons here to set it up, which is way more complicated. Having that app makes it so much more easier. So of course, I'll have this exact pet feeder linked down below in my description. If you'd like to grab one of these for yourself, and that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe. See you in the next one. Deuces.